Hello, and welcome to the AP Biology Photosynthesis Lab pre-lab video. In this video, I'll go over the procedure for your lab, and at the very end, you'll have pre-lab questions to help you get ready for the lab itself. Um, the first thing you need to understand is the inside of a leaf. Um, the cuticle is the upper and lower portions, but the photosynthesis in a leaf actually happens in the mesophyll in the center. Um, stomata on the bottom side of the leaf bring in air, contains CO2, and that diffuses into the cells in the mesophyll, and that's where photosynthesis actually happens, in the thylakoids, in the chloroplast, in the mesophyll cells of the palisades, and the spongy mesophyll in the center. So basically the inside of the leaf is mostly air. Uh, the point for this lab is that we can remove that air and put a solution in instead to introduce um, a chemical to the leaf. Welcome to the Photosynthesis Lab. I'm Ms. Botnor, this is Dr. Daisy, and today we're going to show you the materials you need for the lab. You're going to need a light source. You're going to need sodium bicarbonate, that's baking soda. Two plastic cups with a sharpie to mark the different solutions. Two plastic syringes, no needle. And leaves and a hole punch to create leaf discs. Today I'm going to show you how to finish the procedure for the photosynthesis lab. You're going to need a solution of sodium bicarbonate, that's baking soda. You're going to take one cup, label it with CO2, and you're going to fill that cup with about three centimeters of sodium bicarbonate. You're going to take a second cup, label it without CO2, and this cup you're going to fill with water from the tap. Again, about three centimeters. Next, you're going to take your leaves and using a hole punch to create uniform leaf discs, you're going to just punch out a hole in the leaf. Um, you want ten leaf discs and you want to be careful to avoid this midline right here. So next, we're going to show you how to create a vacuum using the syringes. So the first thing you need to do is pull apart your syringe and then you take your 10 leaf discs and empty them into the syringe and you're going to do one syringe for the with CO2 and one syringe with the without CO2, that's just the pure water. So you replace the plunger and you raise it up until it's not crushing the leaf discs but you don't have that much space left. Put the nose of the syringe into the solution, drop a certain amount of the solution, about, about two centimeters is good. Then you want to tap it to get rid of all the extra water, I'm sorry, all the extra air, and then you push the plunger up slowly to get rid of the very last bits of air just until you see a couple of drops come out of the top. So for this next part, this is when we actually create the vacuum. What you do is you put the end of the syringe against your hand and you hold it there with your two fingers and you pull the plunger back and this creates a vacuum. What it actually does is it draws the CO2 solution into the mesophyll of the leaf. You do this two or three times, however long it takes to get all these leaf discs to sink. The point at which they sink is when they have no air left in the mesophyll. Um, depending on how good you are at this, it could take a little bit longer. Um, there we go. See, most of those are starting to sink. At the very end, you'll have all of them sunk at the bottom. And what you're going to do is squirt the rest of the liquid back into the cup that you got it from. Don't crush your leaf discs. And then you're going to I gotta get those back in here. There we go. Pull the plunger down and empty the leaf discs into your cup. Make sure all ten are in there. Next, you're going to put your plastic cup under your light source. You're going to get your timer ready and you're going to turn on the light. You're going to time until the fifth disc hits the top, so we want about 50% of the discs to be floating. Should be somewhere in the range of 5 to 10 minutes. Um, as soon as that fifth disc hits the top, you press stop and you're going to record your data. Alright, once you have finished and you have seen five of your leaf discs raised to the top, record the time, don't forget to use pen, and to keep your units. Um, so that's the end of procedure A. Procedure A tested whether or not carbon dioxide affected how much oxygen was produced in the leaf's mesophyll. When the mesophyll produces oxygen, 
the disk floats to the top. Um, in procedure B, you're going to test something else, and you decide what that is. It can be temperature, amount of light, it could be the amount of CO2 in the solution, anything you want. Write a procedure, show it to me so I can approve it, and then begin testing. You have the rest of the period to do this. Um, we're going to meet together for about 10 minutes at the end so I can show you how we're going to write our lab report for this week. Don't worry, it's not the same. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them to me and I'll answer them. Thanks so much.